The gap between rich and poor people is growing around the world, but the reasons behind this are often misunderstood. While things like where you were born or how much education you received do matter, the choices we make with our money play a huge role in determining whether we build wealth or struggle financially. In this video, I will show you six major differences between how rich and poor people handle money. These differences are not just about how much money they earn, but also how they think about their financial future. Understanding these habits can help anyone make better choices, no matter their current financial situation. By learning how the rich think about and use their money differently, you can begin to change your own financial habits and move closer to the financial freedom you desire. Number one, attitude towards saving money. One of the biggest differences between rich and poor people is how they think about saving money. Rich people see saving money as an important part of building wealth. They don't just save for emergencies, they save with a clear purpose, like investing in something that will help them grow their money even more. They understand that saving is the first step towards creating financial security and wealth. On the other hand, poor people often save money just to get by or for shorter needs. Their savings might be small and are usually used for emergencies, like fixing a car or paying a surprise bill. For many, it feels impossible to save more because they are living paycheck to paycheck. They may also feel like they don't have enough money left after covering their basic expenses to save anything meaningful. Rich people follow the pay yourself first rule, meaning they set aside savings before spending on other things. This helps them build wealth over time. Poor people, however, often spend on immediate needs and try to save whatever is left, which can be very little. In essence, rich people view saving as a long-term strategy for wealth building, while poor people see it as a temporary solution for emergencies. By changing how you think about saving, you can begin to build a stronger financial future, no matter where you start. Number two, investing mindset. Another big difference between rich and poor people is how they think about investing. Rich people see investing as a way to grow their wealth. They know that money sitting in a savings account doesn't grow much, but money invested in things like stocks, real estate, or businesses has the potential to increase over time. Rich people understand that investing helps their money work for them, even when they aren't actively working. On the other hand, poor people often avoid investing because they think it's too risky or believe they don't have enough money to start. They might feel safer keeping their money in a savings account or not saving at all. Sometimes, the fear of losing money stops them from even trying to invest. Unfortunately, this mindset keeps many from growing their wealth over time. Rich people are more willing to take calculated risks. They understand that investments can go up and down, but they believe in the power of compounding, the idea that the money you invest earns returns, and then those returns earn even more money over time. This helps them build wealth faster. Poor people may not have access to the same financial education, so they miss out on understanding how important investing is. While investing can seem confusing or intimidating, there are many tools today, like apps and online resources, that make it easier than ever to start, even with small amounts of money. Remember, rich people invest because they see it as essential to building wealth, while poor people may avoid it out of fear or a lack of understanding. To build wealth, it's important to learn about investing and start as early as possible, even if it's with a small amount of money. Number three, personal finance education and awareness. One of the most important differences between rich and poor people is their knowledge about money. Rich people spend time learning about personal finance. They read books, take courses, and use tools to manage their money better. They understand things like budgeting, saving, investing, and taxes. This knowledge helps them make smart financial decisions that help them grow their wealth. In contrast, poor people may not have access to the same education or resources. Many people never learn about personal finance in school or from their families. As a result, they might not know how to budget their money or invest in things that can help them in the future. They may focus only on paying their bills or getting through the month without planning for the long term. Rich people often make financial planning a habit. They regularly review their expenses, create budgets, and track their progress toward financial goals. They use apps or other tools to stay organized. Poor people, on the other hand, may not track their finances closely, which can lead to overspending or missed opportunities to save and invest. Understanding personal finance is the key to building wealth. The more you know about managing money, 
the better decisions you can make. Even if you're starting from scratch, there are many free resources available today to learn about budgeting, saving, and investing. In short, rich people make personal finance education a priority, while poor people may lack the awareness or resources to do the same. Educating yourself about money can be the first step toward improving your financial situation. Number four, long-term versus short-term thinking. One of the key differences between rich and poor people is how they think about time and money. Rich people tend to focus on the long term. They set goals for the future, like saving for retirement or financial independence. They understand that building wealth takes time and patience, so they are willing to wait for bigger rewards later. This approach allows them to make decisions that benefit them in the future, such as investing or starting a business. On the other hand, poor people often focus on the short term. They may be more concerned with paying their current bills, buying daily needs, or dealing with emergencies. Because of their immediate financial pressures, it's harder for them to plan for the future. This short-term thinking can make it difficult to save money or invest in things that could help them later. Rich people are more likely to practice delayed gratification, which means they are willing to wait and save now to enjoy bigger rewards later. Poor people, however, may feel the need to spend their money as soon as they get it, either because of necessity or to enjoy the present moment. While rich people think about their long-term financial future, poor people often focus on short-term survival. By shifting from short-term to long-term thinking, even small changes can lead to big financial improvements over time. It's important to plan ahead and make decisions today that will benefit you tomorrow. Number five, income streams and wealth building. A major difference between rich and poor people is how they earn and grow their money. Rich people usually have multiple income streams. This means they don't just rely on one source of income, like a salary from a job. They might own a business, invest in stocks, or rent out property. By having more than one way to make money, they can build wealth faster and reduce their financial risk. If one income stream slows down, they still have others to rely on. On the other hand, poor people often depend on a single income source, usually their job. This can be risky because if they lose their job or something goes wrong, they might struggle financially. Having only one way to earn money also makes it harder to save or invest because they rely on every paycheck to cover their basic needs. Rich people also focus on building passive income. This is money that keeps coming in even when they're not actively working like rental income or dividends from investments. This gives them more freedom and time to focus on other ways to grow their wealth. In essence, Rich people build multiple income streams to grow wealth and protect themselves financially. Poor people often rely on one income source, which can make it harder to save and invest. By exploring ways to create additional income, even small steps can help you build wealth and become more financially secure. Number six, approach to retirement planning. One important difference between rich and poor people is how they plan for retirement. Rich people start thinking about retirement early in life. They know that saving and investing for retirement is important because it ensures they have enough money to live comfortably when they stop working. Rich people often use special accounts like IRAs or 401ks that offer tax benefits, helping them grow their savings faster. They see retirement as a goal they can reach by planning ahead. Poor people, on the other hand, may not think about retirement as much, often because they're focused on paying their current bills and handling immediate financial problems. They might feel like they don't have enough money to save for retirement or may rely only on social security, which may not be enough to support them fully when they stop working. Rich people view retirement as a time of financial independence where they can live off their investments and savings. They set clear goals for how much they need and work toward them over time. Poor people, however, might not plan for retirement early enough which can make it harder to save enough for a comfortable future. In short, rich people plan for retirement early and use tools to grow their savings, while poor people may delay or overlook retirement planning due to immediate financial concerns. Starting to save and invest for retirement, even with small amounts, can make a big difference in the long run. In summary, the key differences between rich and poor people often come down to how they manage their money and think about their financial future. Rich people focus on long-term goals, like building wealth through saving, investing, and planning for retirement. They educate themselves about personal finance and often have multiple income streams. In contrast, 
Poor people may focus on short-term survival, with less emphasis on investing or long-term planning, often due to financial pressures or a lack of resources. The good news is that anyone can learn from these habits. You can start building wealth, no matter where you are right now. Financial improvement doesn't happen overnight, but small changes in mindset and behavior can make a big difference over time. With the right steps, financial independence and security are within reach for everyone. Now, if you want to learn how to achieve financial success, then watch this video next. If you made it to this point in the video, please like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.